There was one day a year that Rabbi Meir Prima Shalom used to give out brachas. And that was Shemini Atzeres. And the whole city would line up around the whole block waiting for a chance to sit, shake his hand and to get a bracha. But there was one person who would not go on the line. That was Heichel the Ganif. Heichel, circumstances led him to be a Ganif. And he was scared. He knew if he would come to get a bracha, Rabbi Meir would ask him, what do you need a bracha for? And why don't you do tshuva? And he knew it would be too hard to give a proper answer. So therefore, he never went around, but he looked on in envy every year as everyone else received the bracha. One year, he decided on a plot. He's going to have two of his friends come in line, one after another, and he'll stick his hand in between the two friends. And Rebeir will just give him a bracha without realizing who it is. So he comes on the line, and as they're walking by Rebeir, Prima Shlam, the Gadol Hadar, Tzadik Hadar, he looks and he sees that it's Heiko. And he says, Heiko, Heiko! What do you want a bracha for? The Heichel thinks, and he says, Rebbe, there's going to be a certain amount of Gnevis that will be successful in Prima Shalom this year. I want that I should have all of those Gnevis. They should be all for me, that I should be successful, and I should get all those Gnevis. Trek the Gedele Musa, what was going through Heichel's mind? What was he thinking? Why is he asking for this? She's coming to get a bracha for Kedusha, for, for Kedusha, for everything, and he's asking for Gedevitz. Ruchayim Shalavit says a fascinating aside. He says, you look at the parasha, we learn about Alifaz. And Alifaz came running after Yaakov. Yaakov's running away from him, and Yaakov has, his mother tells him, go get a shidduch. She gives him money, gold, and silver, and he's off. And Alifaz catches up to him. And Alifaz says, I have a mitzvah from my father, Esav, to kill you. Moshach Yadai. Rashi says, he held back. And he says, I know, I, sh- I know, it's not right. I shouldn't kill you. I grew up in Yitzvah's lap. I know it's wrong to kill you. But what should I do? Ma'eser, the tibur shall abba. What should I respond? I have a mitzvah from my father to kill you. So Yaakov said, well, we know, ani chashuk kabes. There are four people who consider like they're dead. And one is an ani, four person. Take my money, and then I'll be considered penniless and poor, and I will be like a base. So Lifaz took his money and ran away. Rashi says, what was Lifaz? He's doing the nice at Sidkus. He's saving his life, but at the very same minute, he's stealing his money. What is Pshat and Alifaz? Was he a Tzadik? Was he a Russia? Says of Chayesh Levitz, or the Chayesh Meshkam Shem We know Rashi quotes this term that in the beginning of creation, Hashem made light and darkness, and they were together, Meshkam Shem, they were servicing the world together, Barbovia, in confusion. There was light together with darkness mixed together. Says of Chayesh Levitz, Every person has or mechoyshach mixed in together. They have a little lightness, little light, little darkness together. They have midas that are good, midas that are bad. You find at the very same moment that you want to do a mitzvah, you could be doing an avera. Kayin is bringing a carbon. At the very same moment, he's bringing a carbon to Hashem. He's also bringing from garua, the napri, from the lower grade fruits. Either he's trying to do a mitzvah, he's trying to bring his kamsan. at the very same moment he's being a kamsan and being stingy. You find people at the very same minute they're running to mincha and they're going so fast that they might trip over someone and they might be going over the speed limit at the very same second they're doing a mitzvah. How's that shayach? Because we're made up of good meters, bad meters. At the very same minute we're doing one thing, we could be doing a mitzvah and we could be doing different meters interplaying at the very same minute. That was the pshat with Elifaz and that's the pshat with Haikul Aganif. So the Aganif, when he's about to steal, he even davens to Hashem before he tunnels in and she's successful. The good part of this, Rukhayim Shlavitz used to say, is that if a person ever slips up and does something wrong, that doesn't define him. That doesn't mean he's ra. There might be a little choyshech, but there's a lot of ar. It's ar and choyshech. We're not black and white. We might have darkness, we might have light, but we're not black and white. We have mixtures. We're all confluence of different leaders which interplay with each other. There might be a little darkness, but there's a little light, and it doesn't define us one action that we do, or even multiple action, actions. There's always the type that we can always work on, and we always have that type in the background, and we have all the good that we do. And therefore, we always have to keep stark and strong, and remember, even if we do something, there's so much good that we do have. And remember, even Haikul the Ganif, he wants to Kedusha. We always want to strive to grow, and keep on growing in Kedusha. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.